Prior to configuring the transmitter, it is necessary to know the maximum flow rate you wish to measure and the differential pressure across the primary element at that flow rate. For demonstration purposes, we are going to configure our transmitter for a range of 0 to 1500 gallons per minute at a differential pressure of 0 to 75 inches of water. The first step in configuring the transmitter is to set the desired differential pressure range. Press the next button two times and config will be displayed. Press enter and EX0 will be displayed. Press the next button six times and EGUSEL will be displayed. Press enter and the current differential pressure engineering units will be displayed. Press the next button until the desired engineering units appear on the display. Once the desired engineering unit is displayed, press enter and EGULRV will be displayed. This is where we enter the lower range differential pressure, which is zero. Press enter, the first digit will blink, press enter again, the next digit will blink. If that digit is not zero, press the next button until it becomes a zero. Repeat this procedure through the remaining digits. Once the last digit is edited, press enter and set DP will be displayed. This would allow us to move our decimal point if necessary. Press enter and EGUURV will be displayed. Press enter again and the current upper range value will be displayed. Press enter and the first digit will blink indicating that this digit is ready to be edited. Press the next button until that digit reaches the desired value. Press enter and repeat this step for the next digit. Once all the digits are edited to the correct values, press enter and set DP will be displayed. Press the next button until the decimal point is in the correct place. Then press enter. The word cancel will be displayed. Press next and save will be displayed. Press enter and the transmitter will go back to the measurement mode showing the selected engineering units. The next step is to put the transmitter into square root mode and set it up for flow units. To do this we press the next button two times and config will be displayed. Press enter and EX0 will be displayed. Press the next button two times out mode will be displayed. Press enter and you'll see the word linear Press next and square root less than one cut will be displayed. Press enter. Transmitter will now display out fail. Press the next button two times and EGUSEL will be displayed. Press enter and percent square root will be displayed with the letter P flashing. This is where we enter the label for our flow engineering units. When the letter is flashing, we press the next button to edit the letter. In this case, we are going to enter the engineering unit of GPM. Once the G is entered, I press enter to go to the next letter and change that to a P.
once the P has been entered, I press the enter button, go to the next letter and change that to an M. Be careful not to pass the letter you wish to select, otherwise you will have to go through the entire alphabet all over again. Once the M has been selected, I press enter to go to the next letter. And here is where I want to enter a blank. The character for the blank is all of the segments illuminated. As you see, when I press enter, that space has now become blank, and I will repeat this procedure for the remaining letters. Once the flow engineering unit has been entered properly, the next display will indicate DSP URV. This is where we are going to enter our flow upper range value. Press enter, the left hand most digit will blink. Press enter again, and the first digit will blink. Press the next button, until that digit is at the desired value. Press enter, the next digit will blink. Press next until that is at the desired value. And repeat this procedure for the remaining digits. Once the last digit is edited, press enter. Set DP will be displayed. Press the next button until the decimal is in the correct location. Press enter. The word cancel will be displayed, press next, save will be displayed, press enter. The transmitter will return to measurement mode and the configuration is now complete.